Hi, my name is Nupur Jain and I'm part of Intel IPDK team. Previous presenters have already emphasized on the importance of infrastructure offload and other implementation solutions. Let me go over how we are doing it. To move from the traditional deployment model as shown on the left to infrastructure offload model for various cloud deployment scenarios, we need dedicated interfaces to the parts. With this, we can offload L2 switching, L3 routing, service load balancing, which includes CT and NAT functionality, encapsulation, and encryption to our extensible data plane. We added a new P4-based lean data plane to Calico solution. P4 programmability makes the data plane extensible to future cloud use cases and provides for better visibility into flow treatment through counters and stats. Calico supports a broad range of platforms, including Kubernetes and OpenStack, and others for deployment of pods and VMs. It also supports multiple data planes using EPPF and IP tables. Our data plane offers two ways forward for accelerated functionality, for better treat, for better performance, and reduced latencies. A software-based data plane, which is implemented using DPDK, and a hardware-based solution using IPU. Since control plane components are similar in both of these models and offer a loose coupling for communication using well-defined interfaces, the same control plane works for the above two and other Calico solutions. This helps with interoperability across data center nodes with a mix of accelerated and non-accelerated nodes. Here's the picture that goes a bit deeper into the architecture. The data plane driver is split into two components, agent and a manager, which communicate using gRPC. Agent can be further split up into node agent and infra agent. While manager running on the infrastructure manages the resources, lifecycle of the components and offloads the runtime rules, the node agent receives the CNI calls and adds interfaces to the parts on the host. The infrastructure agent implements the standard REST APIs to watch for Kubernetes resources like pods, services, namespace, and handles events associated with them. It also handles the networking policies for pod traffic isolation and enhanced platform security. Biggest advantage of infrastructure offload is that it offers a secure environment for configuration of resources away from compute where pods are running. It also provides a secure access to other infrastructure provisioning pieces like storage. The scalability performance and reduced latencies while freeing up the host cores are the highlights. Because of this kernel bypass, it provides for better feature velocity as well. Here's a running example deployment with our components. As you can see, we have Infra Manager and Infra Agent running as team sets, and together they are provisioning the DPDK pipeline with rules. Just to show a P4 example of this implementation, we have service load balancing implemented using P4 here. The, uh, this implementation uses connection tracker and that functionality. The very first packet is uh, looked up and it's used uh, to pick one of the endpoints from the service uh, web pool. Once the endpoint has been picked up, the flow is added to connection tracker and the subsequent packets uh, up into the same endpoint uh, and that is applied. To learn more about this implementation and how uh, other sample examples have been implemented, please go to ipdk.io. Get us in for offload where we are working on the recipe and you see more additions to existing implementation. Thanks so much for your time today.